difference in Islam. This is how Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, describes the Muslim society. The believers in the mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. We are described as being one body, united, compassionate and caring. And whomever of us must suffer or endure any possible pain or mishap, we should all be lending our helping hands, reaching up to them with all possible means so that they would feel safe and secure, loved and cared for. One of these people who need extreme care and love and empathy are orphans and Islam paid a close special attention to them, knowing that little children who lost one parent or both parents are the more fragile and the more breakable children. They're also very sensitive and prone to being sad for not having parents like the rest of children. It is very essential to mention that Prophet Muhammad grew up as an orphan. He never saw his father as this one died before the Prophet was born. He also lost his mother when he was six. Luckily, he was taken care of by his grandfather, then his uncle. Prophet Muhammad says, Whoever caresses the head of an orphan in affection, solely for the sake of Allah, a good deed will be written to his account for every hair which he puts his hands on. Islam encourages people to take care of orphans as they are economically and emotionally in need. The majority of them have no income, and in worst cases, they have no guardian as well, to be responsible for them and their needs. Here is where the Muslims are called to step in and to give as much help as possible to protect these small innocent souls from hardships of life. Losing a parent or both in the period of childhood is without doubt the worst experience in one's life. One feels the most lonely and the least loved because truly the love of a father or a mother can't be replaced. However, that wound can be healed by generous hearts, extraordinary people who don't hesitate to compensate for that loss by loving and caring for those orphans. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, I am the person who looks after an orphan and provides for him will be in paradise like this, putting his index and middle fingers together. It is indeed the greatest of rewards to be next to the Prophet in Jannah for having taken care of an orphan on earth. The Hadith also shows the magnitude and importance of that action, being it as a very significant part of Islam. Before Islam in Arabia, in which lineage was of a tremendous importance, orphans were regarded with a low eye. Things were not much better in the rest of the world either, like for example in Europe, orphans were sent to abusive and unsanitary workhouses and orphanages to live their childhood and adolescence in the worst possible ways. Islam, on the other hand, had a different view about orphans. In Surah Al-Fajr, verse 17, Allah the Most Merciful complained about the bad treatment of orphans. He says, No, but you do not honor the orphan. The Qur'an did not only urge Muslims to take care and treat well orphans, it made it such a compulsory act on Muslims to honor and dignify orphans. Taking care of and raising an orphan is definitely a rewardable act of worship in Islam. Since fostering an orphan is an established sunnah of the Prophet and his companions. Raising an orphan guarantees Jannah, Prophet peace upon him said, Whoever takes in an orphan among the Muslims to raise, feed him and give him drink, Allah admits him into paradise without a doubt, unless he has done a sin for which he is not forgiven. Taking care of orphans sure gives you a soft, tender heart, Prophet said. If you want to soften your heart, then feed the poor and pat the head of the orphan. Fostering an orphan makes of your household the best household. The best house among the Muslims is the house in which orphans are well treated 
and the worst is the house in which orphans are ill-treated and yet the best reward of all is to gain the companionship of the prophet in jannah in more than one occasion in the quran allah is warning the people not to abuse nor to ill-treat orphans he says in surah an nisa verse 10 those who consume the wealth of orphans wrongfully only consume fire in their bellies and they will be burned in a blazing hell indeed taking advantage of little orphans abusing them and taking their money away from them seems like the most hideous act a heartless human can do they ask you o prophet in what way they should donate say whatever donations you give are for parents relatives orphans the poor and needy travelers whatever good you do is certainly well known to allah al-baqarah verse 215 orphans little angels with broken souls were supposed to be the shelter to save them the shield to protect them the heart to love them and the hand to hold them so they never fall remember always be good Stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum.